let's go forward. The reason why I'm on today, just to be very brief, I want to talk about the green light bill, which is passed by the New York, uh, the New York Senate, the New York State Senate, and now has been passed into law by Governor Cuomo. Very simple, very straightforward. But let's be very clear what this is going to mean. But before I get to do that, let me explain why am I on now instead of the normal 1 p.m. show that we do live on the Exceptional Conservative Network. Uh, and that is very simply because I have to work. <laughs> you know, like most people, I have a 9 to 5 job. Uh, many people may be aware, I've said it before publicly, that I was out of work for 14 months. And so when I say that we were struggling to keep the lights on to be able to pay the bills and keep everything moving forward, we were being very honest about that. Uh, it's your support that allows us to be able to do this show, to be able to go to the events, to speak to the politicians. It's only through your support. And so every donation actually makes a big difference. And for 14 months, we were surviving as best we could from several friends who helped us out to get us through this rough patch while we were trying to get a new job so that we can pay the bills. Because believe it or not, as much as you may think that uh, you know, get to speak to all the politicians, very much allow, involved in politics, uh, the reality is politics really doesn't pay unless you're an elected official. It just doesn't make money. And as you can imagine, the public doesn't really like usually paying for politics. You'll, people will pay all day long to watch someone play a video game on YouTube or uh, other formats, but you don't really see anyone. No one's really willing to pay for political commentary. It's sad, but it's true. Um, so that's why... Having gotten the job now and having to get my schedule, it's changed the times that we're going to be available and therefore the times that we're available to speak to you. And that's why I'm doing this now. So hopefully you can appreciate that. You'll understand that. We'll adjust as best as we can and we'll get the content out just like we have been. We're just going to have to change the schedule and we'll let you know about that as it comes forward. Now, dealing with that, let's actually get to the meat and potatoes of what's really pissing me off right now. And I think it's going to be pissing off most of New York State. Because as we know, most of New York State has had a problem. And that problem is that New York State opposes the Green Light Bill, which is also called the uh, Illegal Aliens Driver's License Bill. And this bill, um, most recently, the Siena uh, poll, Siena College did a poll. Uh, they did it in April and they did it again in June the beginning of this month, and in both cases, we find that over 50% of the people in New York State oppose giving driver's licenses to illegal aliens, which is a smart thing because it's a law. It is illegal. And I, I want to address this very quickly because you keep hearing this undocumented immigrant, this undocumented workers. That's a lie. There is, n There are not undocumented. The document they're missing is any legal authorization to be in the United States. The actual legal term is illegal alien. They have broken the law willfully and continue to break the law on a repeated basis without any uh, uh, regard for the law or for uh, and to avoid prosecution. So these are illegal aliens. They are not undocumented. They are illegal. The document missing is any reason to be in this country. So these illegal aliens have been uh, without driver's licenses. And New York State is happy with that. The people are happy with that. What are our politicians? They are representatives of the people. They are there to represent the will of the public. Not for themselves, not to go off on their partisan ideas, whether it's a Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Conservative, I don't care. They're not there to represent their party. They are there to represent the people. And in fact, they are not. And we have seen that since January of 2019, the single party legislature, it's all Democrats at the State Assembly, the State Senate, and the Governor, they have gone on a wish list hunt, passing everything that they can that is uh, the furthest fringe left, the Democratic Socialist, the progressive.
progressive ideology. And we've heard Governor Cuomo say many times and just recently that he wants New York State to be a progressive state. That is his personal ideology. That doesn't mean that's New York State. And he is not to, there to be the king of New York State. He is there to represent the best interest of the people of New York State. New York State doesn't want to be democratic socialists. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez might, Governor Cuomo might, but that's not the people. And there is a difference. And we see that when we see polls like this, which is very similar to the poll about late-term abortion, which is also now legal in New York State, where you can have an abortion up to the second of birth. The second of the birth. The baby is in the birth canal and you can kill that baby. That is... Most people will disagree. Whether you're for abortion or against abortion is not the question. Most people, no matter where they stand on that, have an issue with a baby that is then being killed at the moment of birth. That being said, what we're talking about today, though, is the driver's license bill. And it is opposed in April, in June of 2019, even as the New York Assembly and the New York State Senate we're voting on this. And instead of representing the people, and look at this, you can look at the numbers. Um, this is something that was very hotly contested. 53% of the state, though, still oppose this idea. And so with that being very well known, and many of these, uh, many polls even regionally being done, what we saw is that the New York State Assembly, the bill number is a 367 Five. This is version B. Uh, you can look it up for yourself. And what you will see is that the vote came down to 86, uh, excuse me, 87 in the Senate, uh, excuse me, the Assembly, 87 in the New York State Assembly versus 61 against. And that includes people like um, Assemblywoman Donna Lupardo, who voted against the wishes of her district and voted in favor of this, as opposed to individuals like uh, Cliff Crouch, who is right next door in the same district, uh, and he voted no, like the will of the people. So this meant that New York State Assembly said it is okay to give illegal aliens, individuals who have actively broken the law of New York and the country, and have entered the country and to benefit them by giving them a driver's license. Well, last night, this is very heat, very hotly debated. And last night, the New York State Assembly came out and they voted on this and they voted in favor. They passed it and it was a tight bill. It actually went down to 33 versus 29. That includes Democrats who were voting against this. That includes Democrats from uh, Long Island, I believe nine of them, that voted against this bill, including Democrats. Even Democrats oppose this because the public oppose this and they are representatives of the public. But did that have an impact? Did that make the difference? And apparently the answer is no. Because if you look at the numbers, uh, you'll see. Now, I will mention, and I want you to see who's in this. On the nay side, there are individuals like Senator Fred Akshar, who voted against this bill. There is James Griffo, who voted against the bill. There are individuals like, uh, where is he? James Seward, who voted against the bill. Even... Uh, I believe Button Sean. No, excuse me. Uh, these are some of the people who voted in the state sem Senate who voted against this because that is what the public wants. That is what the public has said. Uh, Senator, uh, state Senator Fred Akshar did a regional poll where there were over 80% of the public said, do not do this. Do not break federal law. Do not reward illegal aliens for breaking the law. And what happened? Well, as you can see, what happened is they didn't care. And they voted against this. And the immediate and very quick response was that Governor Cuomo 
passed the bill into law last night. So overnight, as Newsday is reporting in their article, Green Light in New York for Immigrants in the U.S. Illegally to Get Driver's Licenses. In other words, they're illegal aliens. Or if you want to word it a different way, uh, illegal immigrants. They're not immigrating, though. They're here not to assimilate and become Americans. They're here for jobs and escaping their troubled nations. That's not an immigrant. That's someone who's breaking the law. But at 10 o'clock last night, Governor Cuomo immediately ran forward and decided that he was going to pass this bill without allowing time for the public to absorb it, to understand it, to dispute it. He went forward and just passed it. So now it is law and illegal immigrants as of today can go out and start uh, getting driver's licenses. This is bad. This is not positive. This is a negative. This is the worst thing that we could have happen. And the reason for that is very simply... Um, the reason why this is bad and why it's not a good thing is very simply because this is not the will of the public. This is not the will of the public. So I'm upset about it. I know a lot of people are upset about this and it has implications. We have now said as a state that we are willing to break the law. And I'm not kidding about that because if you look at the bill and I, I will show it to you, Look this up for yourself. If you read this, and I know there are news programs like WNBF that go out and say, well, this will allow undocumented individuals to be documented so that police will be able to uh, enforce the law if they break the law while driving a car. Sorry, that is a lie. Let me say it again. That is a lie. If you look at the bill, section 2, line 43, Three, I believe it is. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Line 41, 12A, which states in part, um, excuse me, in section B, in section B, uh, it states that this cannot be used to uh, create civil immigration purposes. You can't use this for civil immigration. You can't use this for any immigration enforcement. You cannot enforce immigration. So therefore, this is not helping the in the public in dealing with illegal aliens. No, no, no. This is only for them to be able to get a driver's license. And that means two things. One, we are now telling businesses that it's okay to break the law. We are also saying that we know some of these individuals with a driver's license will go out and vote. And that's illegal as well. So we are colluding and allowing an outside illegal alien foreign force to get into New York State elections because they use the driver's license to register automatically and to be able to vote, even though they are not allowed to do so. That is a problem. That is collusion. And that is allowing people who should not be able to vote to vote in our elections. And they are allowing businesses to go and say, okay, here are the illegal aliens. They can drive. I can give them a job. And in fact, that's why they did this. If you're asking, and we have, uh, and here is the quote again from the Newsday article that came out today. Um, it was, uh, who is it? Cousins, Stuart Cousins, the Speaker of the Senate for the Democrats, uh, she represents Yonkers, she said, quote, by passing this needed legislation, we are growing our economy while at the same time making our roads safer. This is the right step for New York State as we continue to advocate for comprehensive immigration reform on the federal level. Okay, so there it goes. She's saying she wants to see a change in the federal level. New York State is not Congress, and it has nothing to do with it. She's passing a law to affect Congress. That's not the job of the New York State legislator. That's not her job. As a state senator, that is not her job. That is not Governor Cuomo's job. That's why we have a House of Representatives. That's why we have a, New, uh, a federal Senate. That's their job. Local government shouldn't do that. So let's be real brief here. 
So we're seeing that New York State is doing this because they don't like federal law, which isn't their job. It isn't in their job description. That's not in their responsibilities. On top of that, what she's saying is that this is going to help businesses, that this is going to be positive. Well, okay, I understand New York State will get more money from the fees for getting driver's licenses, which is what New York State is desperate for because we're losing money. And as people are leaving the state, just like Governor Cuomo asked them to, then we need more money in. And that's why we have higher taxes. So I understand they want the tax money. But think about this. You're telling businesses, and they're saying, well, now illegal aliens will be able to go to and from work legally. Well, here's the problem. They're not supposed to be at work. It is illegal to hire an illegal alien. If an illegal alien is working at a job, that means they have a social security number that is false or it is someone else's identity. So they are breaking the law. They're either committing a fraud using someone else's social security number or they have created a false social security number to get that job. That is a crime. That is a federal crime. We are helping businesses. We are enticing and in encouraging businesses to hire illegal aliens with false information to commit a crime. So New York State is aiding and abetting criminals in being able to pursue a criminal job, a criminal pursuit, which is getting a job. And we are encouraging businesses to hire illegal individuals to break the law and to commit fraud. That is what this has happened. That, that is what has happened here in this case. There is no positive here. There is no good thing here. We are looking at a series of laws and there are dominoes that fall with this because we are, the first domino is we're breaking the law by giving an illegal person the ability to have uh, the right to drive in New York State. That is not a, a right, that is a privilege as a matter of fact, to give them that privilege to drive so that they can go to work, which means we're telling businesses to break the law. We are allowing the state to break the law with the social security and there are other consequences now they got to get insurance okay that means they have to further break the law and we're adding more businesses that are going to break the law to give them insurance because they're not legally to be in the state anyway and when we hear people like wmbf when they say that um when wmbf says that this is something and we've heard it on other talk news radio that well this is going to help because if police stop them because they don't know how to drive or they get in an accident, well, we can find out that they're illegal and they're documented. No, you can't. Because New York State explicitly, three times in the bill, has said that they will not give anyone the, illegal, the immigration status of anyone with a driver's license. So New York is actively hiding that. And they will not give it to the federal government, which is illegal. And they will not give it to police, which is illegal. And they will not allow that to be used as part of law enforcement, which makes New York a sanctuary state, which is illegal. Again, this is all illegal. And it's something that is obviously understood by voters and the public because, again, people oppose this, massively oppose this. This is something that the public did not want. So I do have to ask, and I would suggest to you, today's a great day to ask, Send a letter to Governor Cuomo. Why did you do something that the public does not want? I would ask the uh, state senators who voted for this, why did you do this when the public does not want it? I would ask assembly members, like my personal assembly members, Donald Lepardo, why did you vote for this when it is something the public did not want? And locally, I, I got to say, I commend uh, assembly and Clifford Crouch, Assemblyman John Salka, uh, Assemblywoman Marian, Marianne Buttonshawn. I want to commend State Senator Fred Akshar, uh, State Senator James Griffo, State Senator James Seward, because they voted against this bill, which is exactly what their constituents said. That is exactly what the public wants, to vote against this. The public wants law and order. The public wants the rule of law to mean something. Because when you vote, when the governor passes a signs into law, as he has, and 
actively is making a sanctuary state, laws don't matter anymore. Why shouldn't you kill somebody? Because it's against the law. So is giving a driver's license to a, dri uh, a legal alien. But that doesn't matter, does it? So you want me as a citizen to follow the law, but you're telling illegal aliens who are not citizens, well, you can pick, the pick and choose which laws you're going to follow. And you know what? We'll support you in that. I'm sorry. There's a problem here. There's a lot of problems here. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. And we should not do this. But I don't have more time. I wish I did. I did want to just speak with you a little bit because I do have to go to work. Uh, we do have a change in our schedules. I won't be here at one o'clock, but I hope that uh, this is interesting to you. Leave your comments. Let us know. We're always listening to you. We are still here. Uh, just won't be on our regular time slot and we'll get a new time slot for you. But I hope everyone's well. I'll talk to you again soon. And thank you for listening in. This is Michael Voss with No Sound Bites Allowed on the Exceptional Conservative Network. I look forward to speaking with you again very soon.